from Studio 3 uh, for another Wednesday night broadcasting to you from uh, downtown St. Peter's on Ghana land every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. My name's Mark and along with Suni uh, mixing behind the desk, we're thrilled to have Jess Johns joining us here in live from Studio 3. Jess Johns, welcome. Hello again. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's lovely to have you here and have you in the big large studio three yes, this is a much bigger room than yeah the studio other day. one <laughs> <laughs> yes a bit of a bit of a change in in locale <laughs> but it's a thrill to have you here playing in studio three and this isn't your first time in studio three uh, no. you have been here before yes I have it was quite some time ago at this stage that was with uh, Dead Rue? Yes, with my three friends in Dead Rue. <laughs> and that was I think that was sort of around this time in 2019. Doesn't that. time fly? It does. Oh, scary. When you're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> We've all had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's lovely to have you here in Studio 3 tonight. And um, to play, I mean, Jess Johns is uh, both your stage name, but it also is the name of your band. Mm. But tonight you're doing a stripped back solo set. That's right. It's also my name. And <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it was easy for me, easy to like... For the email addresses and usernames, you know, it was a real, I thought about it. And that's yeah. why I came up with the name given to me by my parents as soon as I was born. Thanks, um, Mum and Dad. Yeah, thanks, Mum and Dad. Um, and I've forgotten your question after all that. No, I don't think there was one. It was just, I mean, <laughs> well, you're doing a solo set tonight, so yes. that's that's nice. It's just me. None of my band are here, although I do love them. Uh, they couldn't make it tonight. I wanted to ask that question uh, for the listeners who are perhaps hearing... I think listeners to 3D would know your music pretty well now. I mean, you did poll number two in the top 20 uh, plus one last week Amazing. with your latest release, Stranger. And congrats for that because that's really well deserved. Thank you. It's Thank a... you. Thank you for playing it. Oh. Thanks. It's been getting a lot of love here around 3D Radio. Wow. Um, and that's your second release because your first release came out, Mercy, came out in 2020. Yes, uh, it did in September, the month, the Virgo season, my favourite season of all. Really? Yeah. Uh, can you guess why? <laughs> <laughs> 
yes. Well, I'm thrilled that you're going to be playing both of those songs tonight as mm-hmm. part of your set. But as I said, I think listeners to 3D would know the sound of your music, at least from Stranger, if they've been listening to 3D in the last... I think the last month really because mm. you put that out in late May That's right. Yeah. and it has been getting played pretty consistently around the station. Uh, but also I think people would pick up your vocals because you do feature in some other bands and we'll talk about that perhaps later on. Oh, sounds good. Leave them on a cliffhanger. Yeah, I think so. Let's not give it all <laughs> away. But I want to talk about Jess Johns in terms of the music itself um, and the name of that band. So when did that start up? So... Uh, I've been writing songs for a while, since, uh, you know, since you just, you know how you just are around and you make up silly little songs? Well, one day I decided to play guitar and that's when your silly little, silly little songs become (laughs) real. And, um, but with a band, uh, we played for the first time about two years ago. Yeah. So I have an incredible band behind me sometimes. And yeah. sometimes it's just me. And yeah, so we've been playing together for about two years yeah. when we are together. <laughs> and fairly, yeah, fairly infrequently. I mean, I yeah. last time I saw you play was um, a solo set at the Metro mm-hmm. and that was back, I reckon, around June 11th. June 11th or 12th. 12th, yeah. Yeah. yeah and that was, <laughs> that was, that was, whose launch was that for? That was for... Ebony and Millie's yeah. launch, single launch. Yep. So if you haven't listened to that song, check it out. It is really good. Mm. But that was a really respectful crowd, I thought, <sighs> at the Metro too. I mean, you got up on stage, you sat down, you were, you were playing acoustic. Mm. Oh, no, it was electric that night? It was this, my old friend, the electric. Oh, that nice guitar you're holding right yeah. now. The listeners can't see it, but it's pretty impressive. It's w- white, but there are coloured lights on it, so it doesn't look white. At <laughs> least, I don't know, I can't see it. <laughs> no, it's, it's giving an off-white appearance. Ugh. A slightly Stunning. purple hue, <laughs> purple a slightly purple haze, perhaps. <laughs> That's why I can shred on it so well. <laughs> but that was a good crowd. I think it was the first time I've been in the metro and seen people sit on the floor, yes. on the carpet, um, and listen to an artist play. Yes, I, I sort of leaned up the back because I thought I'm not going to sit on the floor at the metro. I've spilled too much beer on the carpet here. Don't yeah. <laughs> also, whenever I sit cross-legged for like more than five minutes, I get two dead legs. Yeah, <laughs> it's not what I want. <laughs> But yeah, that was amazing. I love when people sit and watch because I yeah. feel like that's when they're most comfortable and, you know, no one likes to have a sore back while they're trying to enjoy an artist. Definitely. But with Jess Johns, you do have three um, other amazing artists uh, in your band as well mm-hmm. and people that I think listeners at home may have heard of. Do you want to name drop them? I will, I will name drop them. I think they deserve to be name dropped. So uh, in my band, uh, I've got Ricky Olbeck of of Ricky Olbeck <laughs> and the Blind Line Band. <laughs> And he plays guitar and he does, uh, he sings sometimes. And uh, then we've got David Blumberg of David Blumberg yeah. and the Maraby Band. Yep. And he plays bass and he's, he's just also a really fun time. Yeah. Morale, bass player and morale booster, <laughs> I'd say, is are his two roles. And then uh, up the back, we've got the happiest drummer in all of Adelaide. We've got Harry Freeman uh, and he plays in... Gerald Fluids? Oh, every band yeah. you could ever name. He's played in... He's played a band, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he, he plays, that guy. Um, and, yeah, that's that's. You've got team. some heavy hitters. I do. Some heavy hitters. And as you said, the two... So Dave, David and Ricky both mm-hmm. have their own na- bands named after them. I know. And yet they've come into a band that you've named <laughs> after yourself and they've kind of given up. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a back seat. I would say they've given up, but I think they can appreciate a person's name <laughs> when they see oh, yeah. it, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, as I said, it's lovely to have you in Studio 3 tonight. If you are just tuning in to 93.7 FM, you are listening to the dulcet tones of Jess Johns. She's joined us in Live from Studio 3 tonight, uh, taking us through from now until 9 o'clock. Jess, you've got another... S- now, that I should have back announced that first song that you played. Maybe I'll let you do it. Well, I'd love to. That song was called Someone Who Knows. Yeah. And it's a song I wrote some time ago. And that is all I have to say on that one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 
Now that's I, I will put the disclaimer around that because that's your uh, your only song tonight you're playing on acoustic. That's right. Yes. So uh, a little treat if you didn't tune in on Sunday, you got a little sprinkling of acoustic there, and that'll be the the last you hear of that. <laughs> nice. Well, now you have got a really mean looking electric guitar uh, wow. in your hands tonight. So this next song you've got up is Mercy, which mm-hmm. I did mention was your first single release. Yes. Um, yeah. and the reason that was you chose that as your first recording to release uh the reason all the boring ones that it's about three minutes and it's a bit upbeat (laughs) (laughs) that's smart that's not boring (laughs) that's what i got told (laughs) all right and it goes a little something like this called claps thank you um this is another one and it's a bit of a newer one and it's called i don't remember loving you I 
like I used to And I don't remember Ever Loving you Jess Johns playing for us all live here on Live from Studio 3. Uh, Jess, it's lovely to have you here in Studio 3 on a rather cold Wednesday night. Indeed. It's nice and warm in here, though. It is, yeah. I think that guitar is sort of warming us all up oh, as well. Uh, the warmth. <laughs> the warmth of the guitar. <laughs> and it's nice to have a little bit of a crowd, too, of some yeah, uh, 3D alumni nice. coming in. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a, I love the chord progression on that song, the song Thank we just heard you. then, which is called I Don't Remember Loving You. Yes. It's uh, funny you should mention that because yeah. halfway through that song, I realized I did the uh, uh, the thing no one should ever do is put two songs with the exact same chords next to each other. Oh. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Well, that's... <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> No, it's a lovely song, uh, and I have heard it. You play it before on that lovely guitar. Tell me about that guitar. That this guitar. Holding. A lot of people come up to me and they go, "I love your Fender," and I say, "Look a little. Cl- <laughs> you got to look a little closer because it's actually a Squire, and I love a good Squire. They're a bit cheaper, <laughs> and they look just as good. And that's pretty much how I choose my guitars. Is whether I like the look of them. Based on looks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really care how they sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is an impre- it is a good looking guitar. Thank you. And uh, especially the white. And here in the studio, listeners can't see this at home, but I think you should keep your eyes out for the socials because we'll put some photos up. Mm-hmm. The lovely, just catching the purple, reflecting off the white, bit of a purple haze. So you have a white guitar, you have a many colored guitar. You do. Yeah. It's very nice. Um, and we were saying that song, I Don't Remember Loving You, is that a recent song? It is. I wrote it uh, just uh, after a bit of a lull of writing. And I was like, gosh, it's been a while, maybe a whole year <laughs> since you wrote something. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I, gosh dang, went and did it. <laughs> 
Yeah. Any reason for the the break in writing? I think COVID, perhaps. Yeah. Um, I f- took COVID as not a chance to be productive, but as a chance to take a well-earned break. <laughs> mm, yeah. I remember that at the time, I think, when COVID, when we first went into lockdown last year around March, there mm. was a lot of banter on social media among musos about, you know, let's take this time to be creative and be really positive. <laughs> and I remember talking to some muso friends of mine saying, don't take that on board. Just chill out like the rest of us. This is crazy. Yeah. We're going into a pandemic. It shouldn't feel like... Added pressure. Yeah. Yeah. So... Good on you for. Thank you. It was hard, but I did it. <laughs> not by your dog. Hard not to be productive. <laughs> well, that's certainly a lovely song, though, to pick up and uh, to start writing. I really love it. Thank um, you. It's, a, it's such a lovely way to showcase your vocals. <laughs> and I wanted to talk about that because for me, your vocals are quite distinctive. I did mention earlier that you do feature in other bands mm-hmm. around Adelaide, which we'll, you know, we can mention later on. But, um, you know, you, you are quite prolific in the Adelaide music scene. Besides doing your solo work and with your band in Jess Johns, you're obviously in Dead Rue, which we mentioned mm-hmm. earlier. You played a live set here a couple of years ago. You're in Ricky Elbeck and the Bel Air Line Band. Mm-hmm. You're in Dom and the Wizards. Mm-hmm. Anything else I'm missing? Um Sorry, you just said Dom and the Wizards and I realised I forgot to text him back. Uh, um, <laughs> he's <laughs> waiting for your call. <laughs> Sorry, Dom, if you're listening. Um, uh, yes, there's might be... I always get so muddled up. I do sometimes play in, in a band called The High Beamers. Yeah. Yep. I'm an occasional guest, which is so nice. They're some of the most fantastic songs ever written, so it's an honour to play them. Yeah. Um, and also, I'm in a band called Purr, as the oh, cat does. Yes. And, um, I play a little bit of bass and, uh, the singer in that is called Katie and she, oh my God, she's got an amazing voice and she's so good at writing songs. Obsessed. I yeah. love her. She's excellent. Fantastic. Where do you find the time to do all this work? <laughs> so many bands. Yeah. Um, you have you play music with people who are very understanding. Yeah. That's yeah. how. <laughs> and there's a bit of, uh, I think there's some nice uh, cross-pollination going on there too between, yeah, yeah. you know, members in different bands as well. Yeah, and absolutely. We realised that if the High Beamers went on tour, uh, Jess, Johns and Per could both play. As support. Yeah, because it's all the same band. <laughs> Fun fact, yeah. <laughs> Any uh, yeah. booking agents out there listening in, just, you know, make a few notes. <laughs> you want a cheap tour? <laughs> we'll give you one. <laughs> well, uh, now, because you have played in the High Beamers, I know they're fans of going out touring sort of out mm. in the regional areas. Have you mm-hmm. done that with any of the bands? Uh, we played Dead Rue, played uh, in Jamestown a yeah. few years back with David Blumberg yeah. and the Maraby Band. Yeah, and that was so much fun, and I would love, love, love to get uh, go out and play more regional shows because yeah. it's just so much fun. Yeah, they, they have a good time. You have a good time. You, know? you sort of the whole town turns up, don't they? Yeah, because yeah. they're really appreciative of of this, a yeah. regional artists coming to town. They're really appreciative. It's so lovely. Yeah, it's so nice. All right, that's something. Maybe when oh, actually, when I say borders open, we can move around the state. Yeah. So uh, exactly, Is sort of perfect say, time. I'd say I think it's the perfect time to do a tour that mm, probably won't get cancelled. Mm, yeah, fingers crossed. Mm. Um, I wanted to ask a question around, I mean, I'm, I was doing, I mean, I've followed your music for a little while now, but I, I think there's a uniquely, there's, as I said, your vocals are quite distinctive, but I loved, I found something on somewhere online that you described the sound of your music or your, your bio says uh, that your dreamy take on indie Australiana. Ah. Does that still stand? Um, possibly. I feel like I would have gotten someone else to write that bio <laughs> because it's so <laughs> awful writing yeah. something about yourself. Yeah. Way you got to be like descriptive and yep, and kind of step out of <laughs> yeah. your own creative process a little bit and be exactly. a little bit more objective. But you know, yeah, all those elements. the bio can't be like I, I don't know. Yeah. Just listen. I just play my music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think someone else might may have kindly written that for me. And yeah. I guess you you be the judge. I like it. I really I like I like that descriptor. 
yeah, dreamy take on indie Australiana. Mm. And I think that, I mean, even some of the other bands you're talking about there too, they, they have in common a sense of Australiana. We talk about mm. Americana as mm. a style of music, mm -hmm. but I think Australiana, I think it's it's nice that that term is being used. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, certainly Dave Bloomberg, some of the styles of his music is very evocative of a, of a time and a place which is uniquely Australian. Yes. And, um, and Ricky can do it. Ricky does that too. I agree. I agree. Yeah. They both do it. They're two great examples. Yeah. And Dead Rue. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think just that, that involvement in different bands that you have, um, do you find that... You get different ideas, and it, you, you might, you know, have you felt that your music, when you started out doing Jess Johns, that involved in other bands, have you found that it's influenced your own style? I th think so. Just being able to um, pinpoint when styles change or shift is kind of impossible. Yeah. But I definitely learned new chords from <laughs> other people. <laughs> so I think. It improve. It helped me to improve my abilities, so it was very, very good for me. Yeah. So there's that. You can s feel that sense of, I guess, as an artist, being mm. developing. Yeah. In different ways. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Which I, I, I'd imagine everyone would be too mm. in all of those bands. Yeah, for sure. And I think I, I can see that. I think other announcers at 3D can see that too in terms of not improving, but just the sound changing, mm. evolving. Mm -hmm. Which is fantastic. Yeah, it is nice. It's nice to have something new, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a nice segue. Speaking of new, let's hear another song from you, Jess. What have you got next for us? Well, next, I've got a little song. Now, this is there's a bit of a backstory to this song, isn't there? Yes. So this, God, David Blumberg, <laughs> man of the moment. We can't stop talking about him. I know. He's, he's, uh, his ears must be burning if he's not listening to the radio right <laughs> oh, now. They're on fire, which... You're welcome. It's very cold. Um, uh, so last year during COVID, David Blumberg, David, such a long name, Dave. We'll call him Dave. Yeah, Dave. Um, he contacted a few people around town who make music and he got us all to uh, make a song and he put it on a compilation and he named it Goat Tracks. <laughs> and you asked me this the other day. I did. And I do not know why it's called Go Tracks. I think he did explain it to me, and I should have asked. Yeah. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. I, th I think it's nice that we don't know. Leaves an I air of mystery. Yeah. 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 Maybe goats were big at the time. Yeah. And that album <laughs> People was... People loving goats. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Dave, you know, is a, a secret goat herder in another Honest, life. It wouldn't shock me. Yeah. One of his many talents. Yeah. And that got released around COVID, didn't it? So that's right. I think that's why that just, missed, that just passed me by. When, yeah. I, when you were on air the other day and you were telling me about it, I thought, wow, I didn't pick up on that. So this is a way, though, this song, Master, mm -hmm. is a song that people can find on Goat Tracks if they want to get a copy of it. That's right, yeah. Uh, you can find it online, Bandcamp, all the usual places. And uh, while you're there listening to this song, listen to all the others and you'll find a whole new world of amazing Adelaide artists. Now, I love this song, Jess, and it's a powerful song. There's a lot of statements in this song. Um, what was what was your thinking behind it when you wrote it? Oh wow, let's go back there. Um, I guess um, I was feeling. What was I feeling? I was feeling. I remember writing it in my living room, and hmm, that doesn't tell us much, does it? <laughs> <laughs> And it's just about how being feeling a bit fed up, yeah, maybe with how things are going, whether that be personal or yeah, in a greater sense. Yeah, I think that's a great way to intro this song. <laughs> if you are just tuning in to live from Studio Three, welcome. You are listening to Jess Johns joining us here tonight with this next song. It's called Master. Talk to you 
a short thing I want to make it last I'm a dreamer I'm a talker investigator I was hopeful now I'm have a swear in it so if you're under 18 no swears <laughs> that's not the chorus
Jess Johns playing for us all live here on Live from Studio 3, right here on 3D Radio. That's 93.7 FM, streaming to you on uh, 3dradio.com and coming to you at digital, also uh, from the 3D app and also the good old-fashioned analogue way. However it is you're tuned in uh, this Wednesday night, it's lovely to have your company here as we listen to Jess Johns doing a solo set Mm -hmm. for us all. It's so nice, Jess. That song there. I'll get you to back announce both those songs. That one there. Uh, so that one I just played. Yeah. Uh, it's an older one. Um, I've been playing it for a while. And it's called... I was inspired by many a person who's done this before. But specifically Thomas Ball, who mentioned the idea of having like yeah, those weird song titles where... It's called something, but then there's something else in brackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so this is called <laughs> Flicker, but in brackets, burn. <laughs> anyway, I it looks it. better visually. <laughs> yeah, it does look good written down. And then the song before was Master, mm-hmm. which um, people can find uh, a recorded version on uh, Goat Tracks, which That's is available. Right. Yeah, on Spotify, places. Bandcamp. Yeah. All sorts. If you go to my Spotify page, I think it's on there. Yeah. For easy access, but listen to the whole thing. Flicker, I don't know that song. That's the first time I've heard it. You said it's an older song. Yes, I've been playing that for ages. Wow. It's um, it's beautiful. 
Thank now, you. I was listening to it and I, it took me back to Porter's Head's third album, which is called Third. And just the build up, it's quite evocative of uh, Beth Gibbons' oh, style yeah. on that album with some of her build up mm. in, in this quite raw sound and some mm. of those songs. Oh, no, that just came into my head. That's a compliment. No, bit, I, uh, I like Porter's Head. I yeah. take it as a compliment. Um, but I was just quite, I thought, wow, that's yeah, quite, um, quite a steady build up in that mm. song. Yeah. yeah, it's a slow, slow build. A slow burn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Um, it's lovely to have you here in the studio tonight. I wanted to ask, I mean, time's just going away. We've got more songs to play, so I'm not <laughs> going to talk too much in this bracket. But I wanted to talk to you about, we mentioned earlier how you are in a number of bands mm -hmm. and yet you're also, you know, writing your own music too. Um, and how does that influence the creative process being working as a solo artist? How is that different to being in a band and having the creative process there? Um, For you, I, at least. Yes. I guess when I write these songs, which are just my own songs that I have complete control over, um, it's uh, it can be easier in a way because when you uh, see s have an idea about something, you can just go forth with it. But with a band, if you're writing collaboratively, you yeah. can't, you've got to take everyone's ideas on board, which at times can be challenging, but also can be really great because a lot of people know stuff that they you do. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you write with them, uh, yeah, they tell you the things that you don't know and it's yeah. really good. But even as a solo performer, writing the music for, well, as a performer with Jess Johns, you're leading, writing the music for that, but then you've got... People like Ricky Olberg, you've got Dave Blomberg that mm. you can say, look, I've just written this song. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. And, and they're go. usually always so positive because they're so nice. Because you're so good. What are you doing? <laughs> too? I mean, you know. Yeah. They haven't uh, <laughs> rejected one yet. So. Well, they, they, are, are, smart, they are smart lads. <laughs> I'm going to say that on air right now that they haven't done that. Uh, keep that up, guys, if you're tuning in. Uh, I wanted to say too, though, that in Dead Rue even – that's a collaborative process mm. in that band you've got yourself as a singer but also a guitarist but then you also have some other pretty powerful singers in that yep. band too that's right like jason and yep. like uh stuart hiding in the background there playing bass uh <laughs> better known as the front he man does not hide <laughs> i don't think he can hide even if he tried as you mentioned right yeah well <laughs> stuart better known as the front person for um the empty threats mm -hmm. and the other fifty thousand bands that he plays in but that's i think that's quite good too because you know if you're writing it how do you find that writing something and saying well i've written this song to sing in my style mm. and they're going you know you've got some other pretty good singers as well yeah so, yeah give you some feedback or is yeah that they they're good they they have lots of ideas and they're usually pretty accommodating for me and yeah. when jason is singing he's got his own pretty distinct style and yeah he's a great songwriter um and yeah i guess it's just about a bit of give and take <laughs> and that's how it works yeah definitely and i think we're seeing that a lot uh across the adelaide scene i think as mm. well and a lot of give and take a lot of Cross pollination, a lot of you know, really sharing the stage and pushing mm. new people for putting new people forward, more established bands, and all of that. And it's it's really positive, yeah. I've got to say, and we see that a lot here in Life in Studio Three <laughs> every week. If you are tuning in, <laughs> you are listening to Jess Johns here on Live from Studio 3. And if you are just tuning in, where have you been? Because you have been missing <laughs> some of her beautiful songs. Uh, but you no, have no fear, you can tune back and listen uh, through the uh, the app on the on demand switch. I'll talk about that later. But let's play, a, let's, let's hear some more songs from you, Jess. Mm -hmm. um, this next one is a, is a, it, it's a song with no name, isn't it? That's right. Uh, like many of my songs, um, it, uh, yeah, it doesn't have a name. I've done well to name all of my songs up until now with some help from other people, but I just couldn't do it for this song. So this it. is a, a, as written on the set list, new song. And here we are.
one it's also a little bit slower and that's all I have to say I'll play it now
Wow. Wow. Jess Johns playing for us live here and live from Studio 3. Jess, that is such a beautiful song. I love it. Uh, it's called There Are, Th there Are Things. Yes. And uh, is that a, a new song, an old song? A recently written one, yep. Yeah. It's lovely. Thank you. It's such a nice song. Uh, really, again, showcases the range of your, your vocal talents. So thank you for playing that for us here on Live from Studio 3. My pleasure. Uh, I'm looking at the time. I'm like, where's the time gone? It's like three minutes to nine o'clock. We're nearly at the end of this week's uh, Live from Studio 3. And it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here in the studio playing for us. You've got one more song to play, mm -hmm. which is your latest single that you released uh, only in May of this year. It's called Stranger. As I said earlier at the start of the show, it came in at number two on the top 20 plus one. Very cool. Let's go for number one this week. Let's see <laughs> what <Come> happens. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a video to go with this too. That's right. There is a video. And uh, it's, it was a bit self-serving, the video. Um, what what one is it? You know, really, it's a, it's a music video. <laughs> but this one was like, I was like, uh, it's filmed on Super 8, which is like grainy uh, film that costs a lot. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> it does. That's what I think too. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, it's very special. And it was one of those days where everything just went right um, in the way that the weather was good and nobody died. And <laughs> um, <laughs> which... Uh, Call that a positive. I, I'd say. Uh, so filmed all in one day. Filmed all in one you day. You can see that. I mean, it starts with yeah. you. You you look like you. It looks like you're through a sunroof of a car. You can't see you, but you know, yeah, it's just you. I am. I'm, down the street. I am through a sunroof of a car, and that was actually uh, my friend Harriet's idea. Yeah. Um, who filmed the whole thing, and it was her car that yep. I was out the roof of. Um. Yeah. And it's beautiful because you, the, the day does go past. So it is one because, you know, it's quite mm. lush when it starts. The sky is blue. You're in lush surrounds. And then as the day, as the film clip progresses, the sky gets darker. You're in a more kind of sparse landscape. Yeah. Lots of uh, telegraph pow poles around and things yes. like that. Yes. Um, it's great. It's a great film clip. Look it up. Uh, where can people see it? I saw it on your Facebook page. I think you had it linked there. Yes, it's linked there. It would be on... Uh, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. And mm, everywhere. Well, if yeah, it's YouTube, it's everywhere now. Exactly. Let's face it. exactly. So that's Jess Johns. You're looking at that, and you're going to type in Stranger, and you're going to find that on YouTube. You might find a lot of things because Jess Johns is a very common name. Okay. And we're a stranger to many people, so <laughs> that was a terrible joke. <laughs> Jess Johns 3D. We'll do that. We'll do that as a, a type, and you might find a <gasps> video from tonight. Oh being yes. posted as well uh, because Plug. we do have some of our lovely videographers in the room. I just want to do a quick thank you to people because Life from Studio 3 happens every Wednesday night here on 3D and it is a, a communal effort. So thank you to uh, Albert and Aiden, Aiden for coming in and filming. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to that video. Thanks to Suni mixing behind the desk thank as you, well. Suni. Love you, Suni. <laughs> and um, thank you to Tiff, my uh, partner in crime. Another producer of Life from Studio 3. Love your work, Tiff. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you, especially though, uh, Jess, for coming in and playing mm. for us tonight. I feel like I had the easiest job here tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's been a pleasure. Oh, it's The pleasure's been all ours, and um, I think the listeners definitely have enjoyed the show. So thank you so much. And if you, as I said earlier, if you do want to listen back to the show, get on board, download the 3D app. It's on demand. It's going to be there for four weeks. Uh, and we're going to finish with one more song which is the song we just talked about, mm -hmm. Stranger. So I'm going to leave it with that. My name's Mark. It's been an absolute pleasure. Jess, I look forward to seeing you playing a live set soon. Are there mm -hmm. any sets coming up? Yes. The soonest one is not till August, so it's a bit of a wait. Yeah. Um, that would be Half Strange Festival, mm. the fifth one. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Come. Yeah, it excellent. Goes, there's two nights, so if you're not available, one of them. You'll probably be av available the next one. That's happening at, a, at an interesting venue, isn't it? At an interesting venue. Yes. So it's happening at two venues. Yeah. Uh, I'll just tell you about one of them. Yeah. <laughs> which is Electric Ant Recording Studio, which is a recording studio. Uh, and will, for one night and one night only, be a venue. 
downstairs, which in what was the former German club. Yes, German club. So on Flinders Street, I think. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. That's going to be great. Well, we'll post some stuff about that as well. Thank you again, Jess. Johns, it's been a pleasure to have you here in Live from Studio 3. <laughs> and this is your final song for the night. It is called Stranger.